Hey everyone, welcome to the first episode of Thread Faction Sewn, where you can see it sewn even if you can't make it into your sewing room. The pressure is on today because I'm going to cut into this gorgeous panel from the Material Girl Australia, but you can't make an omelette without breaking some eggs, am I right? So let's get to it. Missy from the Material Girl Australia designed this panel especially for the pattern that we're sewing up today, which is the girls' tank and pants pattern, designed by yours truly. And this panel on the layout is going to make a lot more sense once we start cutting it up. So let's do that. Fast and easy. Right, now on to ironing. I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. Are you kidding me? Are you ever going to start sewing? I hear you. I do. This is not something you'll see me doing all that often. But my dad always says proper preparation prevents poor performance. And sadly, in this case, it's true. Just need to prep the bindings and then we'll be ready to go to sew the tank. Alright, I've got my drink and some snacks and we're finally ready to sew. Now this pattern has got binding and bands and elastic, but if any of those things are new to you, do not worry, we've got you covered. We've got some fab bonus videos to go with this episode that cover off all the beginner knit techniques step by step. So if you're unsure of anything that we go through, just check them out in the description box. Alright, binding. Looks difficult, isn't really. We're going to do the, the top of the tank first. You get your little piece of binding, you put this binding coloured side to the not coloured side of the back of the tank and line up the top edge. You'll notice the binding's a little bit shorter. That's quite alright. Now, you won't often see me pin. It's not really something that I do, but for your benefit, and throw a few pins in. You're going to gently stretch the binding as you sew, but not the top of the tank. And then top stitch. By the magic of television, two top bindings are done. Who now is the arm bindings. Starting on the wrong side, grab one of your arm bindings and apply it in exactly the same way. The only thing you've got to do, where well you've got the little notch from cutting it out, you want that to line up with the top edge here. And then sew, sew them on these areas just like your other bindings. Okay, when you get up to here, to the edge of your tank here, just make sure Binding's covering the stitching, and then as it comes off the edge, you want to fold your binding on itself, match up the edges, and then top stitch it closed. Run around onto the other side again. With the bindings all finished, now we just need to sew the side seams and hems. Right sides facing, and we're away. I'm just 
going to do a little bar tack on this binding in the underarm to stop that seam from rubbing. One last press and your tank is done. To sew our pants, we're going to start with the crutch seam. So you take your back pants piece, place it right sides facing with your front pants piece and line up the crutch seam. And then you take your little gusset piece with the right side of the gusset facing the wrong side of the back pattern piece. Line up the crutch seam. And then sew those all together. While you're at your machine, take each of your, your leg band pieces, fold them in half, right sides together, and sew down the short hair. Trim the seam allowance down by half. Fold them back on themselves. Create your leg bands. Again, while you're at your machine, Sew your elastic into a loop. To insert your leg bands, divide each band into four equal parts and mark with pins and do the same with the leg opening. Then get your leg band inside the leg hole. Match up the side seam of the pants with the seam in the leg band and then match up all the other corresponding pins. Your leg band will be slightly shorter than your leg opening. You just gently stretch the leg band as you sew it to the leg opening. There you have it. Your leg band's attached. Trim this seam down by half and top stitch it. Last job of all, adding your elastic. So you have your loop of elastic in your pants, put the loop of elastic inside the pants, lining the join up with the centre back, and sew it in along the top edge. Now that your elastic's joined along the top edge, all that remains is to flip it to the inside, making sure it's nice and firm across the top there, and top stitch it down. So there it is, the Girls Tank and Pants set from Fred Faction Studios, all sewn up in this gorgeous panel from Material Girl Australia. I can't wait for my kiddo to get home from school to try it on. Thanks for watching the first episode of Thread Faction Sewing.